are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, I think people are sick and tired of the coverage of Taylor Swift at Chiefs games. She's dating Travis Kelsey. Hey, good for them. If they want to be together, they can be together. But the coverage of Taylor Swift at Chiefs games, it is just over the top. Now, I did my video yesterday talking about how fans were just crushing CBS for showing more of Taylor Swift than the actual Chiefs and on Chargers game. That was a very, very good game. There was a whole bunch of fireworks in the second quarter where there was a lot of scoring. Now, the final score was, uh, I believe, it was uh, 31-17. That game was a lot closer. It was. Travis Kelsey had a monster game. He was almost at um, 200 yards receiving in that game. I believe he finished with um, something like 179 yards. If I'm not mistaken, I don't have the numbers um, pulled up uh, right now. But Travis Kelsey is a great player. Travis Kelsey is an all time great tight end. That is a fact. Now, we know that the Swifties are just now getting acclimated to Travis Kelsey and probably even the NFL. So when they see stats of Travis Kelsey, they're going to be thinking, man, I didn't know who he was, but I'm looking at his numbers. Looks pretty good. But there's a caveat to that, guys. There's a caveat. CBS, because they were actually covering the game, Tony Romo, Jim Nance. They put up a very, very disrespectful stat on a graphic during the game. And boy, fans are crushing CBS. I said it already, man. Travis Kelsey, Hall of Famer. Seven straight 1,000 yard seasons. Maybe it'll actually be uh, eight straight this season. This man is a Hall of Famer. But CBS put up a graphic where it made it seem like Travis Kelsey was some type of a bum before getting with Taylor Swift. I'm not making this up, guys. This is ridiculous. Check this out on Spun. CBS getting criticized for bizarre Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey graphic. In case you guys didn't know. This is actually Taylor Swift right there. Yeah, on the right. That's uh, Travis Kelsey's uh, mother right there. Boy, CBS, you got to do better than this, man. You got to do better than this. Travis Kelsey is a great player. Yeah, you can make fun of him, you know, for pushing a jab and all that other stuff. But when it comes down to being a football player on the field, this man is spectacular. He was amazing yesterday, too. And Taylor Swift just so happened to be in attendance. Here we go. Let's read this. It says the criticism continues for CBS, who put up a Taylor Swift related graphic during Sunday's Chiefs Chargers broadcast that seemed to bother fans. Making light of the situation, the network displayed Travis Kelsey's numbers when Swift attends the tight ends games versus when he was, quote, Left to his own devices. I mean, why would you actually do that? But right here, you can see it right there. This is a real thing. This is what they actually put up, man. They put this up. And they use a picture of Travis Kelsey. um, kind of looking disappointed. They're making it seem like he ain't nothing without Taylor Swift. Look here. This is the graphic they put up. You belong with a uh, with a uh, tight end this season and they show with Taylor Swift in attendance. Receiving yards per game, 99, which is great. Then they put left to his own devices. Forty six point five yards per game. And at the time they put this up, he had one hundred and forty three yards receiving. The man was a beast yesterday. But newsflash. He's been a beast for his whole entire career. I mean, I believe last season 
Travis Kelsey had, what, 1,300 yards receiving? This man is the real deal. And they make him look sad right there. And then they put out these numbers left to his own devices. Come on, man. The fans, they were not having it, man. They were not having it. Uh, this person um uh, puts out, nah, dog. CBS and the NFL just showed Travis Kelsey's stats with Taylor Swift in attendance uh, graphic. Roger Goodell said business is business. I can't believe this is real. Yeah, that's real right there. That is real. Uh, Hip hop producer uh, Chuck English then uh, said uh, left to his own devices is fucking nuts. I agree. I really do agree. I mean, this is crazy. Another one here from a, a fan named Cole says you belong with tight end is insane. Oh, my God. With crying emojis. Yeah. Another one here saw that and was like, nah, we we might really have to start a dialogue that this has gone too far, too far. That said, I was sitting here watching the game and uh, Travis Kelsey caught a pass and someone was like, oh, that's Taylor Swift's boyfriend, huh? So we might all have to just accept that man. So some of these people may not even know his name. They don't know. They don't know his um his stats, how great he is. This man is a great player. And they disrespect this man like that. See another one here. Taylor Swift goes back on our international tour after this game. I believe we may never see. We may never have to see her at an NFL game the rest of the season. Let us rejoice. I highly doubt that. I think she'll be back. Um, but she's going on her international tour. Hmm. Well, by CBS's logic, um, Travis Kelsey will probably end up having like 40 yards receiving uh, next week because they're saying he ain't nothing without Taylor Swift. Another one here. Super shameless, but money needs to be made. Man, that sums it up right there, man. People are very, very frustrated with the way the NFL is covering uh, the Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift thing. And now CBS is making you think that Travis Kelsey is a bum without Taylor Swift. Really? This man is going to be moonwalking into the Hall of Fame. He is one of the greatest tight ends of all time. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. Travis Kelsey himself should be pissed off. I mean, he should he should actually be thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. Was I chopped liver before Taylor Swift? No, I think I was an all time great player. Without her. I mean, th this is nothing more than a virtue si signaling to the Swifties, man. Maybe the NFL actually told CBS, hey, let's come up with these crazy stats here to, uh, Please, the Swifties to make um, the Swifties think that uh, Taylor Swift has an effect on the game. Now, I could be mistaken about this. I don't believe that. Um, yeah, actually, I do believe the Chiefs are undefeated with her attending because uh, the Chiefs only loss was actually in the first game. And I don't think that um, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were actually together at that time. But, man, this is wild right here, man. Fans are fed up. I'm fed up too, man. This is ridiculous, man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.